All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to answer a question I got in a comment because I think it's something that a lot of people should be aware of and know, and it's something I neglected to talk about. It was about Flash's 16k limit. Some of you are probably wondering what the 16k limit is and what that means. The 16k limit is when your Flash reaches 16,000 frames, and then it stops the movie there. It will not go past 16,000 frames. Alright, as you can see here, we have Animate CC open, and just for the sake of illustration, I went ahead and went about 51 frames over the 16k limit. It's a blank document, nothing's in here, but let's see what happens when I try exporting it. And here we go, Animate will tell you right now, Flash can't publish your entire movie because it contains more than 16,000 frames. Would you like to publish only part of the movie? So anything past the 16,000 frame limit will not be played in your SWF. Now you're probably thinking, what are ways that I can get around that? Well, the first things you need to know is that no matter what scene you're in, the frame limit will still be applicable. So say if you reached 1500 frames in scene one, then if you go to scene two and you add in another thousand frames, it'll stop there. It's Animate or Flash's overall frame limit that you just simply cannot get past. So your workaround is symbols. This here's the Flash document for Chaos War Episode 7. What I used to do to get past the 16k limit was I would animate each individual scene in its own movie clip. Because if you remember, movie clip timelines are separate and not tied to the main series timeline. So I could animate in each timeline of each movie clip for as much as I wanted to and not have to worry about the 16k limit unless I actually reach 16k frames inside of that scene. And because I'm doing this in movie clips, the main timeline only reaches 9 frames. It basically tricks Flash to give you more frames than what you actually have. And as you can see, to the power of action script is I have it stop on each frame so that way it doesn't just start playing like that so what it does is it stops on the frame and then it starts playing the movie clip and then at the very end of the movie clip there's another action script that tells it to stop all the sounds inside of the symbol stops on that frame and then it goes back to the main timeline, and then goes to the next frame. And voila, then you have a trick to get past the 16k limit. Now, again, this is what I used to do. Now, I think my best way to go around this is to just make each scene its own FLA. And I've started doing that since Chaos War Episode 9, simply because... Because I include so much in my flashes now, and the size, and, the, and how long they go on... It's best for me to just work each scene in its own separate FLA, that way I don't have to worry about anything. Then afterwards, I just go to Swivel, compile the SWFs, and throw them in Premiere. Now this really only works for me because I upload solely to YouTube. If you were to upload things to say DeviantArt and Newgrounds, at least in their SWF form into Newgrounds, then you wouldn't really be able to get this done this way. You would just have to be very conservative and use that simple trick method that I told you about. Which I know I haven't talked much about action script in this tutorial series, and I don't plan to. I will leave those action script codes in the description below for you guys to use and sort of copy that way. Well, this has been just a real quick video explaining the 16k limit because I thought it was something that warranted its own video because you may run into it one day, not know what in the world's happening, and you're gonna wonder how to get around it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.